Hello everyone, I'm Fox 47 News Chief Meteorologist Brad Sugden. I'm sure you've heard of El Nino and La Nina, especially since we were in three La Ninas in a row the past three winter seasons. Now we're rapidly shifting into an El Nino phase and the possibility of that keeps going up as the months go on. So let's talk about what El Nino is. Definitely the literal opposite of La Nina. So you have the trade winds blowing the warm ocean waters back over to the west. That lets the colder water come up from the bottom of the Atlantic and that causes a La Nina. However, when those trade winds weaken, the warm water sloshes back. Now this happens on the Great Lakes. Sometimes when you go over to Lake Michigan, you get that really cold water coming up, right? Same thing. When you have an offshore wind going towards Wisconsin, it lets the cold water come up. But when that wind stops, the warm water, of course, goes back to the shoreline and you have a much better beach day. Same thing, but just on a much, much bigger scale across the Atlantic Ocean. The typical weather pattern during an El Nino season for the winter months definitely looks like this. We lean a little bit towards the warmer side of things, the drier side of things as well, because the storm track stays a little bit further down to our south. So here's something that I want to point out. This is the probability of El Nino indicated by the red bars here. The percent of that possibility gets up toward 90%. These are just the labels of the months. So once we go towards June, July, August, July, August, September, August, September, October, we're up towards 90 toward 95% chance of an El Nino. Now notice that rapidly increases when we go toward May, June, and July. Already, we have another problem too. The ocean temperatures are the record warmest that we've ever recorded since records began. Look at 2023, a solid jump above the just huge area that were previously recorded. So we are definitely a little bit in uncharted territory here. What exactly that means? Well, we're gonna have to kind of wait and see as the climate changes and we start to get used to different things here. We haven't had the possibility of an El Nino this strong with water temperatures that warm just yet. Last time this happened though, we had a record warm year which was 2016. So let's take a look at the last several El Nino years across mid-Michigan and what we could possibly expect. Notice there's definitely the better possibility of temperatures being above average, right? But this also is a really good indication that sometimes average and below average do still happen. The odds aren't as great, but the odds are still there. Same thing with precipitation. Notice we have a pretty good possibility of either near average or slightly below average. Not to say that an above average year can't typically happen because it certainly can. And snowfall lines up with this really well also. We either have about normal or kind of leaning towards the slightly below normal side. But again, there's always the exception. Sometimes we get a little bit more than expected and one storm can certainly make a difference. So again, we have an El Nino most likely coming our way, likely to start here in the next couple of weeks or within a month or two. And that will greatly impact our weather as we go into next season.